everybody, how's it going? It's Friday, December 16th, and it's about 27 degrees out this morning. So I'm not rushing out <laughs> to the job site quite yet. I thought I'd give it a maybe an hour, hour and a half for it to warm up a little bit. And uh, what I'm doing today is the same old thing. Uh, just painting some KFCs. I don't know if I'll get any footage of that. So, But this morning I'm uh, enjoying my December breakfast. I call it fruit and nuts and dates and still cut oats. Oh, and bananas. And also green juice. It's the perfect breakfast. Uh, the green juice has kale, lemon, ginger, uh, celery, and cucumber and green apple in it and uh, the nutrients from that and uh, all the stuff from this oats and fruit and dates and walnuts is like super power that's super power breakfast anyway I thought I'd do a little sketch or two I want to talk about sketching before I take off for the day so I'm gonna finish my oats and then do a little sketch for you and talk about uh, uh, instilling expressions into characters and I know I've talked about that before but I wanted to talk about it again all right let me finish this <laughs> I do some sketching before I take off for the day so uh, let it warm up for a little bit and uh, I just wanted to talk about uh, uh, sketching and drawing again and uh, there's like the 12 principles of animation, Disney animation, and there's a book called, uh, it's uh, Disney Animation, The Illusion of Life. And they talk about the 12 principles, which I don't wanna go into, but uh, the two of the principles to me that they're most important are exaggeration and appeal, you know, showing emotion, but also exaggerating the character. Like, uh, let's say for instance, uh, there's a character on the window it's uh, let's say it's 4th of July and uh, and I want to do a character and I want to make him exaggerated and his facial expression that he's really alarmed and um, you know he's say he's running from a rocket that some little kid lit you know a, a rocket flying through the air and it's chasing him so I, you notice how I exaggerate the head. I make it long, you know, because I'm also going to show motion too, but exaggeration and appeal. And, uh, and also showing like how things flow too. Like if he had a big nose, would his nose be down here like this? No, it wouldn't. It would be flying up in the air. You know, you make, you make his nose like it's a part of the, a part of the movement like it's a big rubbery movement. And then now his mouth, you'd come over here and I just kind of do a, almost an S shape. You know, I, I usually kick this out like that to show the upper part of his lip and then go down and then up and then down. But it's all super exaggerated. Like that, throw in some teeth. <laughs> And even his tongue, I might make his tongue flying out this way too. Now you, you may not choose to make it this exaggerated, but sometimes it really, it really communicates and it gives it a feeling of life. And that's the whole idea with windows, you know, and if you're new to cartooning and drawing characters, like up until now you've done mostly lettering in your signs and this and that, that's fine too. Because you can also you can always get stuff and make stencils and put it in the window. But if you want to really learn to draw, you just have to draw a lot. And now that his eyes are going to be the same shape of his head. And I'm going to stick them together, and then put his eyeballs way up here. And then his eyebrows can actually be jumping off of his head, like so. And then his hair can be flying off too all in the line of motion but the whole idea is the exaggeration and appeal to me are the most important elements you know the face and the facial expressions are the most important 
you know, and the details are not. The general shape of the face. And then say, and then follow through is another principle. You know, follow through, exaggeration, timing, appeal, like when you're doing animation, those factors are all important. But when it's a static sh shot, you can't employ every every one of the Disney, uh, uh, you know, uh, principles to a still shot, but pretty much you can do them all. Like, let me just go over the, there's stretch and squash. This is stretch. That's the, you know, that's the principle. Anticipation, you know, showing his eyes like this is almost like anticipation, like he's gonna get hit. But in, anticipation is just the fact he's running. He's, you know, <laughs> he's like, he's anticipating he's gonna get hit. And then staging, how you set up this character with the background, you know, what's in the background, you know, and uh, and like right here, you don't want lines running across other lines. Like here, I, it's good to have this hit with this. So the staging is important too, like what you put in the background and where you put it, you know. So these principles, can apply, um, you know, to what you're to what you're doing. And if he's got if he's got say like a scarf on too, same thing. The scarf can be flying like that. And uh, another principle is straight ahead action or pose pose to pose. And how that you can use in static shots is you might have him running here. Then you might have another uh, person that's already been hit with a snowball laying on the ground over here. And, uh, and then the other thing is, the other, one of the other principles is follow through and overlapping action, which, you know, applies in some ways. Uh, it shows like what what would happen afterwards but then it starts getting complicated as far as trying to do that in a static shot so some of the principles aren't like there's another principle called arcs which you know like this but I like to take it a bit further and I do, I do what's called waves like a lot of times you see me do banners on waves it's kind of the same idea but I like to do that because it, it makes it seem like there's motion in a static shot. And then there's also secondary action. You can have, of course, the other character that's throwing the snowball over here on the side. That would actually be the primary action. This would be the secondary action, probably. Timing, exaggeration, solid drawing, and appeal. You know, timing doesn't fit as much with a static object. Uh, but so anyway, to go back to, keep, I'm, I think I'm getting too complicated, but, but basically exaggeration and appeal to me are the two, the two biggies, you know, appeal, you know, is the character appealing? You know, it could be, it could be a scary character, a, a, a cute character or whatever, but is the character appealing? Do you like looking at it? I mean, is this guy appealing? Do you like looking at him? Is he funny? Is he interesting? That's what you want on a window, you know? And uh, the exaggeration helps to create him, make him more appealing. Anyway, I was just rambling about uh, some principles of animation and how they might apply to your windows. But, uh, the main thing is just keep drawing, keep sketching, get out your pad, you know, just goof around, just do stuff, you know, and uh, and uh, that's how you get better. You just practice, 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 you know, and you try different things and scribble and, you know, whatever, and just do it over and over and over. And the more you do it, the better you will get and you will learn you'll learn different things about sketching and drawing and shortcuts and and uh, and then you can convey those to your windows and uh, <laughs> it's a funny character you can convey the feeling of life and appeal to your characters 
And that's what gets people to look and that gets, that's what gets people to respond. Well, I hope that wasn't too confusing. I kind of got, uh, kind of went off and started rambling and stuff. So I guess really basically the big thing to remember is, uh, is appeal, is the character appealing and using exaggeration to communicate that appeal and to communicate the motion too and all the other stuff. So anyway, I'm off to work. I got to get out there in the cold and uh, do some more painting. All right, talk to you later and thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Bye.